Quick apologies, I'm sorry for not uploading since last year. Reason being, I did forgotten my Google password. How my password was forgotten? Long story short, I fell from my bed, hit my head really hard and forgotten most of like my name and my PP size. But two months later, my memory was restored and that wasn't much of a big deal because I didn't actually forgotten my password. But does that make me a liar? No. Around the 16th of December 2019, I uploaded a video about making a scuffed version of Jelly Shift. In that video, I stated that I'll turn it into a mobile game and sometimes after Shapeshift was made. So where's that game you ask? Well it was uploaded to itch.io and was there for about a year now, but you guys wasn't aware of the game because a video wasn't uploaded about its making. Actually. A video was uploaded but I deleted the video because it wasn't performing as well as how I wanted to and also scrapped the project in the process. But a year later I decided to make the game better. So in order to remake this garbage game, I'll need the project files and I happen to have them right here in my backups. What could possibly go wrong? Unfortunately, the project files were not found and that simply means I have to create everything all over from square one. So I created a new Unity project, added a cube which will pose as our player, but a cube without bevels is as old fashioned as my grandma. So I went in Blender and added some sweet bevels to the dude, which looks much better than the previous. Next up, I coded the player's scaling, me I coded the player's scaling mechanism and added movement. Afterwards, I implemented a platform spawner which will spawn platforms infinitely ahead of the player. For the obstacles, I just put together some cubes and made about 10 different types with different shapes and sizes. Look at this trash. The obstacles are spawned with the platforms and that isn't random. And I happen to like when stuffs are random. So this time around, the obstacles got their own spawner. I fixed it up and now it's working fine. And to make the camera follow the player, all I need to do is to child the camera to the player and everything will be alright. So I realized that was really stupid and coded my own camera follow script. I also made the platforms despawn and these platforms are too cubish, although they are. So I went in Blender and whip up a nice little platform which is better than a cube. Slap some textures on it, then add it into the game and here's it in action. Afterwards, scoring and distancing were added to the game. Basically, you gain score points by passing through obstacles without touching them. And I happen to know you guys already know how distance work. Yeah? What's this bar for? Well, it's to show you how much fever points you gain so you can enter fever mode which makes you invincible to obstacles. And the cool thing about it, it's activated by the F key. Yeah? The F key. I also made some particles using Unity's particle system, a great system to deplete all your depressions and stuffs. So particles now ascend from the player to indicate when a fever point has been gained and a shield like coat when the player is in fever mood. Oh and I also added score pop up with some fine tuned animations made by yours truly. I then added trails to the player when in fever mode and to make things much more fun I implemented two more levels of the fever mode which doubles your score when the F key is pressed. But the higher you go the more toll it takes on your points. And then I added some camera shaking while in the So after shaking the life out of the camera I fixed it up and now it's working perfectly. Obviously, there's no way of stopping the player. It will just go on forever without stopping. So to fix that, I added a way to lose if the player collides with an obstacle with a nice cheeky result screen, which I totally made up myself. And you guys must be saying I stole it from balls. Listen, I didn't stole anything. What, what, why would I do such a thing? C come on. So now the game is somewhat kinda playable, but it looks like I barely did anything and that's really poor towards my reputation of being a serious game developer. So I went back in Blender and module a versatile flat top beveled cube and you might be saying what the hell? Yeah I know, I said that to myself too. 
Using this, I created a new platform and put it to action. Create some clips which will spawn in the background of the game and made some trees. Yeah, it's literally in the name, versatile. Afterwards, I created some more platforms and added rails to them and here's everything all together. I then implemented save files which store stats such as player level, experience and money. And speaking of money, every game has a shop because spending money in game is actually better than spending money in real life. Am I right boys? And to make that possible, a shop should be implemented. So I drew some icons in Photoshop, put some UI elements together, wrote some code and our base shop is now done. But no upgrades are possible at the moment and we'll get to that later. And during that period myself said to me, why not make some levels instead of having only endless? And I said, yeah, why not? Good thinking me. Who said you didn't have any sense? <laughs> so me and myself united our thoughts and started creating some levels. Later down the line, I decided on making a boss battle with a different type of gameplay. So I followed my thought and came up with this. It was now time to create a main menu. So I created a new scene and started putting some stuff together. That there, that here, that over here. And this is the end result of the main menu. I also made a level selector menu which is responsible for taking you to your desired level if unlocked. And to unlock the endless mood, you have to complete one of these levels. And I'm not really sure myself which does. And it is I who made the game. Ironic, is it? I then started making upgrades possible by adding values one by one. And here's the shop now working. As you can see, we made our first upgrade. Next, I added post processing to the main menu and when the player is in fever mode. Do you ever wonder why we have ears? Well, it's the hair sounds and whatever this is. And the game currently has no sound and that's really weird because normal people add sounds to their game during development and I ain't normal. So I coded an audio manager and started making sounds for the game using Audacity, BFXR and Reaper all in one. And just like that, sounds effects and music were added to the game. I also added player scaling in the background of the main menu. Speaking of which, I made some adjustments to allow the UI elements to scale with your current screen size and change the intro timeline of the boss. Afterwards, I created some keys in Photoshop and added two to the main menu to indicate how to scale the player up and down for my boys out there who doesn't like to read and also use them to implement a control menu to show which button do what in the game and I also made a settings menu which allows you to change quality, resolution and mute the sounds if you don't want to hear them and to finalize the gameplay, I added some wind chills which shows up when fever mode is activated and here's the finished product of the game. So if you want to play the game for yourself, it's uploaded to my itch.io page where downloads are available for Windows and Mac. And I doubt it you will not pass level 6 because I can't pass it myself so good luck with that. It has been an insanely long time since I last uploaded and I'm going to quite be honest with you, my computer is very slow. The thing can barely edit my videos. So basically what I'm trying to inform you guys about is that the processor in my computer is really slow and as you can see there's an Intel Celeron dual core processor and I don't think that's a good processor to do video editing and here we have 4 gig of RAM on board and a 2 gigabyte of GPU memory and yeah I hope that show you guys what I'm going through here. So yeah, I hope that satisfies you guys and I think that's the end of this video. 
Like if you like, dislike if you don't like, and join my Discord server if you have to. So, see you guys in like 5 months or so. Thank you.